It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. That's right, I'm your host, Andrew, and this is news. Well, more specifically, it's Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. All right, all right, so let's just go. First up, bankruptcy attorneys for crypto lender Genesis believe a deal with major creditors can be reached this week, but that wasn't fast enough for one group of customers who have filed a class action lawsuit accusing the firm of violating securities regulations. The lawsuit accuses Digital Currency Group and its CEO, Barry Silbert, of selling unregistered securities in the form of the crypto lending product it offered through Gemini Earn accounts. The Securities and Exchange Commission sued Genesis and Gemini on those grounds earlier this month, and the civil suit is basically tagging along, as the regulator will do all of the discovery work for it. Well, Coinbase's stock may have dumped about 85% of its value in 2022, but that didn't stop the top U.S. crypto exchange's chief product officer from leaving the company, with a huge windfall. Based on SEC filings, Surajit Chatterjee will leave the company about $105 million richer on February 3rd, DL News reported. And that's before the nearly 250,000 options that will be allowed to vest as he acts as an advisor to the company throughout 2023, worth another $8.7 million. He's departed after three years on a five-year contract. While his salary was nearly seven figures, the vast majority of it came from stock options, combined with a Coinbase policy that forced top executives to exercise those options and sell stock on a regular basis. A survey of more than 50 crypto analysts predicted that Bitcoin will just barely break $29,000 in 2023 and will not regain its nice all-time high of $69,000 until 2025. Of course, this is all based on a panel of experts polled by Finder.com. They also predicted a low of $13,000 this year. Bitcoin will predominantly be range-bound throughout most of 2023, said Vetli Lunde, a senior analyst at investment firm Arcane Crypto. He predicts, Higher costs of living and a challenging economic backdrop will reduce investors' ability to allocate capital to Bitcoin. Bitcoin ATM provider CoinFlip's chairman, Daniel Polotsky, said, We may be close to the Bitcoin and crypto bottom, adding, Now may be a good time to feast on the dip. Mmm. I hope that's hummus. With eye and hand tracking, Apple's new AR VR headset aims to make working, playing, and interacting with both the real world and virtual worlds easier and more intuitive. The rumored $3,000 Reality Pro headset will boast different ways to interact with both physical and digital environments, with a core interface that's very familiar to iPhone users, at least according to Bloomberg. Users will be able to select an app, button, or anything else in their field of view with a glance and then activate it with a camera-captured pinch of the thumb and the forefinger. Down the road, virtual keyboards are on the drawing board too. As we reported previously, one big stumbling block remains the form of battery life, which is said to just be two hours with a battery pack the size of two stacked iPhone 14 Pro Maxes. And finally, bankrupt crypto lender BlockFi low-balled the extent of its exposure to Sam Bankman-Fried's FTX empire by, well, just $200 million, at least according to a document that was accidentally posted by lawyers. The unredacted document showed BlockFi had almost $1.25 billion wrapped up in FTX and its sister company Alameda Research. Earlier documents put that amount at $1.03 billion. The new numbers came from M3 Partners, a firm made up of BlockFi clients owed money by Alameda. It is an advisor to the official creditors committee, and a spokesperson told CNBC that the document was uploaded in error. BlockFi's total assets are listed as $2.7 billion, but nearly half of that is locked up in Sam Bankman-Fried's companies. And you, dear viewer, can lock in that engagement by searing Crypto Espresso in a very hot skillet and letting it set before cutting into it. Mmm engagement juices. Uh, you can also like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live, but, you know, searing a Crypto Espresso steak, that just sounds so much more appetizing. Thoughts about today's episode? Well, I don't know what to tell you. Find a Crypto Espresso support group in your local area and share with others because comments are still disabled. Questions about our headlines or crypto in general? Why not ask Alex in that description below? Alex is a great resource on all things Web3 and the metaverse, and that about does it for today. Again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and we'll see all of your beautiful, shining faces tomorrow.